queens are always shadowy figures in some way. They play stereotypical roles and getting behind the stereotype to see what makes them distinctive, what makes them significant, is more of a challenge to historians. Female characters in, in medieval history, for obvious reasons, we know an awful lot less about, but and we, we don't know much about her. We do know that James must have had deep feelings for her because of the, the content of the King's Square, the poem he wrote for her. I think historians have tended to, to want to present it in those terms, and you know what evidence we have, doesn't contradict that fact. There, there are no illegitimate children that we know from James's uh, other relationships, if he has any. And the number of children they produce in a relatively short marriage, again, suggests a close and physical relationship. There isn't a degree of separation you have with other royal couples. She's a very resourceful, intelligent, strong-minded young woman. However, she's in a very alien environment, a very hostile environment, uh, with a husband who's um, obsessively in love with her, but also struggling to keep her and himself safe, uh, which is really uh, Joan's dilemma. She's only a teenager, but she's already really, really good at the job of being a queen, the job of running a castle, and she's really proud of it. And then she's in the situation where the man she's been married to, far from being an arranged marriage, as she might have anticipated, and she's prepared for that, and she knows how to do that really, really well, it's this man who's crazy in love with her and is slightly disappointed that she's not instantly crazy in love back. And that all the things she is really good at, she doesn't get to do because Scotland doesn't have the resources to let her really shine. She can come across cold and monstrous in a way. And I think I thought, but that's not who I think she is in any way. I think, again, that's been a device that has built up and built up and built up just from putting on that armour to survive the life that she's in now and that she's got her children and that she has to be a queen. And she's terrified and she's young and she doesn't really know anyone around her. She doesn't know who's got her best interests at heart. There are a lot of sharp teeth, I think, and that becomes apparent very quickly.